Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. Quick midday update because we've got some new alerts out there. We've got tropical storm warnings now for most of inland areas of South and North Carolina up to about uh, the I-85 corridor. It probably will not be extended back to the West. A um, couple reasons, we don't expect tropical storm force winds to go that far inland. And if they did, this would have to track much farther to the west. And right now, there's probably a more likelihood that this would track east, which has been a trend. Now, the other thing to think about in this system, I'll turn off the alerts, is that this is not going to look like a tropical storm. It's not going to feel like a tropical storm. The reason why is it feels and looks more like a nor'easter. The low or the center of the low is down here, but you could see this big plume of rain out ahead of it. It's asymmetrical, we call it. So it doesn't look like that typical hurricane. It's also extremely cool. Temperatures over us are going to be very chilly. So there's no tropical air that will be over us. So it'll feel weird to a lot of us to think we have a tropical storm when temperatures are likely going to remain steadily in the 60s for this event, maybe even 50s at night. So a really cool setup. Also, what's interesting, the winds that you're seeing today, let's look at the wind gust. You could see these wind gusts over the eastern part of the country um, extend pretty far from the center. So what's going on here is there's high pressure to the north. So today's winds aren't directly associated with Ivan. They're kind of indirectly. The low pressure here, there's a pressure difference between this high and the low that is Ivan that is basically causing fast moving air to rush in like this. Um, if you've ever hold, held your finger over the end of the hose to escort your, your, your kids or your dog or wash something off, that's what's happening. The air is getting squeezed between those, so it's accelerating and pushing in. So believe it or not, the wind gust we currently have, 30 mile an hour wind gust in Charlotte, uh, straight out of the Northeast, isn't directly associated with the system. You can see the winds, look at them. I mean, it's not just us. The winds are strong all the way up the East Coast. Um, and all the way back into the Mid-South. So this is affecting a pretty large area because of that pressure gradient. So let's look at the future cast as this moves inland. So let's look at that future cast. You can see the shape of this thing does not look like a tropical system, kind of a weird shape with the front kind of extending off to the Northeast. And just a heads up, in the North and South Carolina coast, South Carolina in particular, this is gonna be significant storm surge. Don't look into the rating or the category of this system. It's got a large wind field. In fact, that wind field, I'm gonna quickly turn it on uh, just to show you how big this wind field is. Um, look at this wind field. That's that, that purple area. See how far it extends out? And the reason that's important is that is just pushing a boatload of, of water towards the coast. It's not that the winds are strong, it's the surface that's being pushed. So instead of having a little plow, like a little bulldozer, we got this giant bulldozer, which is pushing water towards the coast. And it's gonna happen for 24, 36 hours. So at high tide cycles, boy, heads up, the surge along the coast, could be tremendous. And again, the forecast wind radii, look at that wind moving inland. You could see the stronger winds coming up towards South Carolina, but well north and east of the center. That's why you can't always look at the cone. You gotta look at the impacts with this system. So let's look at the future cast. I'll turn off the track again. Uh, we'll go through time. You can see the rain starts to spread in probably after midnight tonight for the Charlotte area, for the coast of the Carolinas. It's gonna happen uh, later today into tonight. The worst weather, is gonna happen after sunrise tomorrow for our area. And I'm talking about the Western Carolinas. The coast, it's happening way before that. And again, as we go into the afternoon hours, boy, that rain just really ramps up. Severe weather risk is gonna be confined to the where the warm air can get in here. So the front, let's say the front is in here. These areas right here are the areas we're watching for severe weather. You can see through tomorrow afternoon, boy, about starting about two o'clock, it really gets rough around here. Heavy, heavy rain, strong winds. Um, through the evening hours and then into early Saturday morning, the mountains and foothills, it's still going on one o'clock in the morning. We go into early on Saturday, the system starts to move north, becomes an issue up north and things will improve dramatically here. So this is not going to be an all weekend thing. Saturday and Sunday are actually looking tremendous, looking much better um, for act activity. So if you're if you're worried about, you know, travel, flights, activities, Friday, Friday night are the times you probably need to reassess or cancel. Saturday late, especially, and Sunday, probably just going to be fine. It's not going to be a great weekend. You can see the drizzle and rain there um, that'll be around, but it's not going to be a horrible uh, Saturday and Sunday, especially compared to what we're seeing um, you know, on Friday. So there's a, there's a loop. That's a 60-hour loop of the system moving up to the north and the west. And again, throughout this whole thing, temperatures will likely be in the 60s, so not not really warm at all as the system moves through. So let's look at the winds briefly. 
All right, let's get right to the wind speeds. You can see uh, the winds, these are the, the surface winds, 10 meters, the, the, the legend's up at the top. So the yellow is between 30 and 40 miles an hour. Once you get to red, that's 40 to 50, and the pink is 50 and above. So I'll go through time here. We'll kind of stop this this afternoon. You can see the winds pretty consistently, 20 to 30, what we're seeing right now. Um, we'll go into tonight, and then we'll get into tomorrow morning. I'm going to stop this around sunrise, 6, 7 a.m. You can see consistently 30 to 40 mile an hour winds. I'll throw some. And again, these are wind gust, by the way. I don't want you to read that these are sustained. So these are the gust potential. I'll put some, some data on here just so you can see kind of the, the time frame. And you can see that as we go through time, those winds are really strong around Charlotte East. And depending on what happens with the track, which this is tracking a little east of Charleston, the winds will be much stronger ahead and east of the track. Look how lopsided the system is, by the way. There are strong winds to the northwest side, but not as far out as the east side, which goes way out here. So that lopsided nature. So eastern North Carolina, just a heads up, this might catch you off guard. This is going to have some really strong winds. Um, it's going to feel like a nor'easter. Think about a strong winter nor'easter. Um, there is the peak winds, I think, for the Piedmont. You're starting to see some let me plot some on here. That looks a little too high. I think that's way too high. I doubt we'll see. That looks like it's too far off the surface. But 50 mile an hour wind gust is not out of the realm of possibility as this moves northeast. And then you can see as it passes us, this is a 2 a.m. on Saturday, the winds will subside really, really quickly because on the back side, the winds aren't strong. They're all north and east of the center and a little bit to the west. So that's kind of a, a rough estimate of the wind speeds. I'll loop it one more time there. And you can see, and that's based on the, on the high resolution rapid refresh. So look at that by Saturday morning, how the winds subside fairly quickly. They shift around to the southwest um, and it becomes much calmer. That's 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. So I will post updates tonight, another vlog coming up tonight, but I want to do a midday update because now we have tropical storm warnings just to give you an update. Friday, 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 folks, Friday and Friday night are the worst of this weather, improving for the weekend.